Welcome, everyone. Today, we're going to build a language translation app that translates text. This app will support a wide variety of languages and allow direct translation between them. And the best part? We'll be doing this for free using open source tools. Now, before we get into the coding, in this project, we will use Hugging Face and the MBART multilingual model. First off, if you're new to Hugging Face, it's a platform that provides state-of-the-art machine learning models and tools. From sentiment analysis to chatbots, Hugging Face has transformed the way we approach AI by making it accessible, easy to use, and open source. For this project, we'll be using Hugging Face's Transformers library, which lets us load and interact with some of the most advanced AI models with just a few lines of Python code. If you've ever wanted to get started with AI, this is the perfect place to begin. Now let's talk about the model we are going to use. Facebook MBART Large 50 Many to Many MMT. This model is developed by Facebook AI, and it's part of their MBART series, which stands for Multilingual Bidirectional and Autoregressive Transformers. Don't worry if that sounds complicated. I'll break it down. This model is a many-to-many -many translation model, meaning it can translate text directly between dozens of languages without relying on English as an intermediary. For example, it can take a sentence in French and directly translate it into Japanese, or go from Arabic to German. It supports over 50 languages, which makes it perfect for building a versatile translator. Why this model is so powerful? Because it's trained on a massive dataset covering many languages and dialects, ensuring high-quality translations across the board. Unlike older models, it doesn't need to translate via English, which improves both speed and accuracy. And this is free and open source. At its core, the MBART model uses a transformer architecture, which is the same underlying technology behind GPT and BERT. Transformers excel at understanding context, making them ideal for tasks like translation, where the meaning of a word can change depending on the sentence. The way we use the model is fairly straightforward. Input the text, provide the sentence or paragraph you want to translate. Specify source and target languages. Use language codes like EN for English, FR for French, or ZH for Chinese. Generate the translation. The model outputs the translated text based on the specified target language. Don't worry, I'll walk you through this code in a bit. You might be wondering, why not just use Google Translate or some other service? Well, while those tools are excellent, they often come with limitations. They might be expensive for high volume usage. They're not always customizable or open source. You don't have full control over the translations or the underlying model. With Hugging Face and this model, you get complete control over the translation process, the ability to integrate it into your own applications, a deeper understanding of how AI models work. Okay, let's understand how to set up the model. To use this model, we'll need two main components. One is the tokenizer, which converts your text into a format the model understands. And second is the model, which takes this input and generates the translation. We'll use Hugging Faces Transformers library to load both of these. It's incredibly simple. You'll see in the next section. Now that we've got a good understanding of what Hugging Face is and why the MBART model is perfect for this project, let's move on to the next part. Ready? Let's write some code. First things first, we need to make sure the Hugging Face Transformers library and Streamlit is installed. Open your Python environment and run this command. Once it's done, we're ready to write some Python code. Now let's import the libraries we need. Transformers, which provides the tools to load and use the MBART model. MBART for conditional generation is the specific class we use for translation tasks with the MBART model. It handles generating the translated text. MBART 50 Tokenizer Fast is the tokenizer that converts text into a format the model understands and vice versa. Torch helps manage the computations. We'll also use it to check if we have a GPU available for faster performance. We'll use Streamlit, which is perfect for creating interactive web apps quickly. Before we jump into the code, let me explain why we're using Streamlit. It's an open source framework that lets you turn Python scripts into interactive apps with minimal effort. No need to worry about front-end design or complex JavaScript. It handles all of that for us. Plus, it's free and super easy to deploy. Next, we load the model and tokenizer. This is where the magic begins. Add this code. This will download the model and tokenizer from Hugging Faces servers. Make sure you have an internet connection for this part. It might take a minute or two, 
depending on your network speed. Here's what's happening. Model name specifies the exact model we want to use. From pre-trained method loads both the tokenizer and the model from Hugging Faces repository. That's it. The model and tokenizer are now ready to use. If you have a GPU, you can speed up the translation significantly. Simply move the model and inputs to the GPU with this line of code. Now let's write a function to perform the translation. Before we can translate text, we need to pre-process it. The tokenizer helps us do this by encoding the text and adding the necessary format for the model. Here's the function to handle the translation. Let me break this down step by step. Setting the source language. Tokenizer.src_lang tells the tokenizer the language of the input text. For example, N for English or FR for French. Encoding the text, tokenizer converts the input text into tensors, PyTorch's data format, for the model to process. Dot to device ensures that both the input data are on the GPU if available. Generating the translation, model.generate produces the translated text. The forced boss token ID parameter ensures the output starts with the correct language code for the target language. Decoding the translation. Finally, tokenizer.decode converts the output tensors back into human-readable text. Now let's test the function with a sample sentence. Here's how you can use it. When we run this, we should see the original text in English and its French translation. As we can see in the terminal, the text is translated into Hindi. We've successfully implemented the core functionality for our language translation app. At this point, we have a Python function that can translate text between any two supported languages. Next, we'll build a user-friendly interface for this functionality. The idea is to make the app as intuitive and practical as possible, something you could actually use in a professional setting or share with others. Let's move on to that. First, let's design the UI. Streamlit makes this incredibly easy. Start by adding a title and a brief description. This sets a clear purpose for the app and gives it a polished feel. Next, let's create input fields for the user to enter text, choose the source language, and select the target language. Here, sd.textArea creates a text box where users can input the text they want to translate. sd.selectBox provides drop-down menus for users to select source and target languages. You can customize the list of language codes based on what the model supports. For the purpose of this video, I have added only four languages, but you can add more supported languages by the model. You can see all the supported languages on Hugging Face. Now we'll connect the translation functionality to the app. Add a button for users to trigger the translation. Let's break this down. Button. SD.button lets the user trigger the translation. Validation. If the text box is empty, we display a warning message. Spinner. While the model is working, SD.spinner shows a loading animation for better UX. Translation. Translate text function we have already seen earlier generates the translation and returns the translated text. Output. Once the translation is complete, we display the translated text using sd.write. To make the app look more professional, let's add some finishing touches. Display examples of text and languages that users can try. Include a footer with a link to Hugging Face or the project's GitHub repository. Add these snippets. This gives users guidance on what to try and adds a professional touch. Finally, to launch the app, save the file and run this command in your terminal. Streamlit will launch the app in your default web browser. And that's it. We now have a fully functional language translation app with a sleek, user-friendly interface. But before we wrap up, let's see the app in action. Let's see how it handles multiple languages. All right, if you've been following along, you should have it running in your browser too. The app is clean, intuitive, and user-friendly. At the top, we've got the app title, Language Translation App, followed by a short description of what the app does. Below that, you'll find the input area for the text you want to translate, and right below it, drop-downs for selecting the source and target languages. Lastly, the Translate button. First, I'm going to input some text. Let's say I want to translate Hello, How Are You, from English to Hindi. I'll type that into the text box. Next, I'll select English as the source language and Hindi as the target language, and hit the Translate button. With this setup, we can translate text from any supported language to any other language. Notice a small loading spinner, which is Streamlit's way of showing that the app is working behind the scenes. This adds a nice touch of interactivity. And there we go. The translation is displayed. Namaste. 
आप कैसे हैं सिंपल एंड एक्यूरेट लेट्स ट्राई अनदर एग्जाम्पल बट दिस टाइम वो ट्रांसलेट अ सेंटेंस फ्रॉम हिंदी टू स्पेनिश आउ टाइप आप कैसे हैं विच मीन्स हाउ आर यू इन हिंदी फॉर द सोर्स लैंग्वेज आल सेलेक्ट हिंदी एंड फॉर द टारगेट लैंग्वेज आल चूज स्पेनिश क्लिकिंग ट्रांसलेट अगैन एंड वॉल आ the output is como estas isn't that incredible with just a few clicks you can bridge communication gaps across the globe this tool can be used to translate text for directions menus or conversations translating blog posts social media content or subtitles for videos becomes a breeze with this tool companies can use this tool to break language barriers when communicating with international clients if you're learning a new language This app can help you understand and practice translations in real time. The possibilities are endless. So there you have it, a fully functional language translation app that can handle text in multiple languages, supports diverse use cases, and offers a professional grade user experience. Don't forget to share your version or improvements. What languages you tried with the app in the comments below. I can't wait to see what you come up with. If you found this tutorial helpful and want to see more projects like this, Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Your support helps us create more content like this.